Bangladesh. She says nutmeg or jozat al tib Isn't having some of it like having little amount of alcohol that is not wine? And I say the answer is no. It's different. First of all, uh, nutmeg is spices. The vast majority of schools of thought considered to be intoxicating, like weed, like uh, um, hash. So uh, uh, Ibn Daqiq al-Eid even considers it to be like hash. So the, the uh, Maliki school, the Shafi'i school, the Hanbali school, they all say that it is haram. However, some scholars, contemporary especially, say that little bit of it that fixes the taste would make it permissible. So it's an issue of dispute, but the vast majority say it's haram. And whenever there is doubt, we always take what is better to be safe than sorry. First of all. Second of all, industrial alcohol is not intoxicating by itself. So if you ask me the question again and say, Sheikh, if we add a drop or two of wine or brandy, would that be haram? I would say definitely haram. But if the product itself has a drop or two of alcohol that is not intoxicating even if consumed in large quantities, that is the food itself, not the drops, I said this is okay. Because this is not wine, haram for itself. When we go to nutmeg, we find that the vast majority say it is intoxicating. It's not like industrial alcohol. It is like wine. It is like brandy. It is like other intoxicating material that a single drop would be haram. So I hope this answers your question.